We are continuing on with the remodel of the house since the weather's been cold. Of course, you know today it's it's nice and warm outside and I'm stuck doing a project inside. Anyway, we are on day one of the bathroom rehab for the second bathroom. So come on, let me show you what we got going on and let's talk about some of the hurdles that I've got to overcome on this portion of the rehab of this house. Hey everybody, welcome back to Grumpy Acres. And yeah, not really on day one. Actually, we're on two, two point five maybe. Uh, been working on this thing. I spent a day tearing out drywall and cleaning up. I think I filled. Gosh, I think I was on ten contractor bags uh, of trash out of this room. And uh, let me show you what I got done so far. And we'll talk about where we're at and where we're going with it. So here is what the bathroom looks like now. Here's a video. Here's a video of what it looked like when I started. I was kind of using it as a construction storage area. There's a bathtub in there and it just really bad shape. It smells, old musty smell and, and so. So I'm rehabbing it. And as you can see, behind me here I ripped out a bunch of drywall that's what the drywall looked like before but I got all this drywall ripped out and I got it all the way over to here because I'm doing it in stages and I'm not not ready to work on this portion of the, the project right now so I'm, I'm over here uh, the big project for today is getting that double pane window or is that triple pane that's a triple pane I think Anyway, getting that window in this hole where this old nasty single pane window is. Now what that entails is taking this window out, framing it up, and then installing that window. And now you'll notice that one looks considerably smaller than that one. That's because it is. These old 1950s windows that they got in here, they're single pane. They are much larger than today's construction. Uh, so, if the good thing about that, you know, the, the window is nasty. It, it doesn't let doesn't doesn't keep the heat in. Let's cold in. But the good the one good thing about it is I can go one size smaller on modern construction than what that that opening is. I can install it, frame it in, and it's big enough that six inch trim will fill the hole that, that's left around the outside. So when I'm done I'll show you I'll show you where it is. But that's that's the project for today. Getting that in. And as you can see, let me step back. As you can see I, I put a piece of OSB down and I started framing it in because I needed a, a sturdy platform to stand on. Not that the floor is in, in bad shape right, right there where I'm working. It just, it just I, I like it better like this. Let me show you, show you what I'm talking about the floor. So this, this is how not to do plumbing whenever you're running a bathtub. The, the bathtub used to be right here. So instead of cutting circles and running pipes through them, they just cut a great big chunk out of the floor and went with it so that that floor was literally open to the the crawl space and as you can see there's some dry rot from where the the bathtub was leaking but that's not that's not how you do it folks um, i'm gonna do it the right way now i put that osb down if you look there's a great big gap underneath the osb right there the joists have settled and the floor is sloped and it's it's from the weight of the bathtub it's gone down right there so my project once i get that window in and get the the insulation replaced uh, is to open up this area right here it's going to go all the way over there you can see where the the j uh, j pipe is for the uh, old vanity but i'm going to open up all this floor right here so I can get down into the crawl space and jack it up and brace it, put some cinder blocks and some and some uh, four by fours or six by sixes, whatever I got handy uh, underneath the joist to lift it up and brace it and make it so the floor doesn't move, which is gonna be really important because we're gonna have tile in here 
can't have the floor moving, can't have the, the, the walls moving because that'll crack the tile. So that's going to be the project after this. And I'm going to replace, as I cut that stuff out, I'm going to, I'm going to replace it with three quarter inch plywood that I have and then that three quarter inch OSB flooring is going to go on there. Now, the reason why I'm putting that flooring down is because the, the new part of the house that we're living in right now is three quarters of an inch higher than the rest of the floor in the old house. So as I'm going through and doing the rehab, I am replacing, or I'm not replacing, I'm laying flooring right directly down on top of the floor where it is so that we can raise it up. Now, that creates an issue with when I'm using the existing walls where I can save them. And I can save some of them. If you'll notice, right down here, that OSB raises the floor right up to the level of the, that 2x4. Now what that means is I'm going to have to run nailers between each one of these studs in order to have, have some place to nail my, my uh, concrete board and my drywall too once I start that part of it. But that's, that's okay. I don't mind doing that. I got a bunch of scrap wood. And speaking of the walls, so, so the construction in this old part of the house raises a, a, an issue with it too the size of the walls they are not standard size walls they are eight foot three inches tall so that means that I've got a gap of three inches that I have to fill so I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna run a three inch pieces piece of material down along the bottom and nail it in and then the the new boards will sit right down on top of that so because of that I'm gonna have to use uh, scrap two by six in here so I got enough to, to nail both both of the uh, pieces of drywall or, or concrete board in whenever I put them in there. Another problem that we have with these walls is that's a metal ceiling and they are not connected. I think I found one wall so far that was actually connected to the ceiling. And so to fix that, well, before I talk about fixing it, the problem that can cause is there's no load bearing walls in here so the wall will move like that as as time goes on and you can a lot of these walls you can you can go through well here let me show you one it's kind of dark in here I hope you can see it but if you look right up there if you look right up there you can see a gap where because the floor has settled the walls come loose from the uh, the ceiling well, it didn't come loose. It was never. It was never connected. So, in order to help make it so the walls stay in place better, what I've started doing is I take a metal bit and I drill through. I don't know if you can see it. There's a screw right there. I drill through the two by four and then through the metal roof, and I just run a screw through it. And so I've got it so the the walls don't move at that point, and uh, they, it helps stay in place, which makes it much more secure and, and much more solid. Um, that's about, oh. So where are we going in the future? I told you I told you how we're gonna fix this. We're gonna rip all that out and raise the floor and brace it really well. So on the other side of this wall right here, is the old utility room for the, before they built the addition onto the house. We've been using it as a storage area. Originally what was gonna happen was there was gonna be a half bath in there so that you come from the outside or you're working in the processing kitchen, you could use that half bath if you need to. Well, because of the storage space issue with the new pantry, we decided that that utility room is going to get turned into a uh, kitchen pantry for the prep kitchen. That way we can take all the canned goods, all the, all the home canned goods the, in jars and all that, we could put shelves in there and have a place to store all that stuff so they're not scattered all over the house. They're not out in the outbuilding breaking because they're freezing and explosive temperatures. And yeah, we got that's a, that's going to be a whole project in itself is is figuring out which jars are bad and which jars are good. Probably just open up a whole bunch of stuff and freeze dry. Be, be truthful with you. But anyway, what we're going to do is right here the the toilet staying where it is. The bathtub's gone and it's moving on this wall right here, right where I was standing. 
and then right there where the edge of that plat or drywall is there's going to be a door and it's going to go into that util old utility room nay the new kitchen pantry for the prep kitchen and so you can come in from outside if you're muddy we'll we'll tile that 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 pantry so you can come right through the pantry and into the bathroom and clean up and take a shower if you need to um, so that's how we're going to do it. it it'd be nice to have a half bath in there but it's not necessary especially when you got this i lived in a lived in a house when i was a kid that had that you 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 come in from the outside go through a utility room go through a door and go into go into the the actually it was a master bath in that house but anyway just the the the, the easy use of it and and it, it fits our purposes now and angela's on board with it so we're all we're all golden in that regard the last thing is we have to talk about the lights and that fan that they just seriously they just surface mounted that and it looks like crap and the the cable used to go right you can see it hanging down it used to go right over there into that corner and they just punched a hole in the drywall and ran it down to a switch so we're, we're fixing all that the fan's going to get replaced with a with a nice properly done fan the light fixture here is going to get replaced with a modern modern fixture we're going to run uh, electricity for light, lights a vanity lights here and, and a plug-in and then I've got to rewire the the switch for everything and it, it's going to be pretty easy Darren from Haxton the Homesteader came over and did some work for us he put in a new junction box so all this is brand new it's it's just a matter of me running the wire and and getting the boxes in place and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll do some bartering with him to get him to come over and and uh, do all the electrical work for me because I still as much as much as I do this stuff, I, I still don't like doing electrical. To be honest with you, I'd rather have somebody else do it. And there's a, there's a store there. Maybe I'll tell you someday. But anyway, so that's where we're standing. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Project took me a little bit longer today than I thought it would because they installed this window differently than they did the other ones I've replaced. I ended up having to bend the frame to get it out of the opening. But but check this out. How cool is that? Got a brand new sliding window, vinyl, dual pane, got it boxed in. Let's go outside and let's go outside and check it out. That's what it looks like from the outside. Way better than that, huh? That's what the old one used to look like. All it needs is some caulking and some paint. And it's ready to go. Let's go back inside. All right. To finish this job, what I got to do is I got to come in here and spray foam. Spray foam all those cracks. Every place around there, I'm going to spray foam. Then, I've got to finish framing in the wall and get good insulation in there that that copra fiber just isn't isn't cutting it in, in today's world it was good in the 50s it's not good now there you go basically phase one is done i got this window in that's going to give us some good insulation for the rest of the winter it's going to keep the, the cool air from getting out once i get it all all uh sealed up and get the insulation on you know what this is this is just part and parcel of rehabbing a house you buy an old homestead and you want to fix it up and bring it back to its former glory this is what you got to do not, not gonna say I enjoy it all the time I was I was frustrated today I I uh, just used some brute force to bend that frame and get that window out but it worked in the end you know what if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by think about subscribing would you uh, we'd like you to join our, our little online community here we uh, we get a lot from everybody that subscribes to us and we hope we hope we provide something to, to the people that are subscribed to the channel and watch us comment down below if you got let us know what you think of the project so far give give us some ideas on on how to make it better share your experience with everybody hit that notification bell you know what want to know when i put put more uh more videos out well that's the way to do it hopefully youtube notifies you 
most importantly, most importantly, I want you guys to go out tomorrow because it's late in the day. I want you guys to go out tomorrow, do better than you did today, and go live a life done free. Take care. Thanks, Milo.